guys, this was a requested video, it was kind of like a sailor, uh, I assumed it to be kind of um, Christina Rabelow and Candyman, that kind of thing. I asked, she said yes, so this is what I've done. Um, I used, for my hair it was like pin curls, I've put a link to my old video where I did pin curls in that below. Um, you just need like a curling tongue and some little grips, little bobby pins like this. It's really, really simple. Um, you can do it neater than I've done it, it's just I wanted to get it done and whatever. Um, otherwise for my face I used obviously my normal base and stuff but pretty much this for my eyes which is Natural Collection Mink and Sable, um, Gosh Blush in Rose Whisper for my cheeks, um, Venomous Villains MAC Collection, what was it called, Toxic Tail on my lips. Um, this gosh mascara which is called Two Step Anthony Mascara and I used L'Oreal Liner Intense on my liquid lines. Yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, really really simple look, really really quick and um, you could go for Halloween put like, if I did Halloween like this I probably would go for like a slit throat or something like something a little bit extra because it's not scary it's just kind of like a costume look if you wear it with the same with the right kind of stuff um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you've got any questions ask hey guys so i'm gonna do the hair first um i'm gonna put a link to the video below where i've already done a tutorial i've done a couple of different tutorials on pink curls small and bigger tutorial uh, bigger pink curls i'm gonna do the bigger ones today i'm just gonna do a sample in case you don't want to watch that video but if you want to see the whole whatever, then watch that video. Because I can't... Oh, what I'm using at the moment, I can't speed up um, my videos. So that kind of sucks. And it would take me absolutely forever to do this if I can't speed it up. Um, depending on what you want, you're going to want to use different size sections. So I'm going to kind of mix it up. Um, I like to use generally quite large sections to get the big more defined curls, whereas if you want kind of more of a wavy look or more of a, well, a, a tighter curl or a smaller defined look, um, then you're going to want to use smaller sections. This is kind of like a medium section, but you could basically use like all of that hair in one section, it would just be like one wave kind of thing instead of like a defined curl. So you just roll it away from yourself and then once you've got it, and it's still hot, so be careful because it'll burn your fingers. Um, roll it up in your fingers like that. And just have a bobby pin. Oops. Handy. To then pin it on the underside. So you don't want to pin, you want to pin it close to your head. So the part of the roll that is next to your head as opposed to out here, you want it in there. So with this curl, you would want to pin like in here, not on the top, because otherwise obviously it'll crimp the curl. So yeah, I'll be back when I've done all of the hair's done. Um, if you wanted to, I suppose you could leave it like this, like a pin-up look. Um, otherwise, you know, if you do it neater than I've done it. Um, otherwise, you can shake it all out at the end and it'll be like pin curls, kind of like Katy Perry kind of used to do when she was first going. So, I'll get on with the makeup. Um, it's a real mixed bag of high and low end products so I'm sorry for all of you that will kick off that I've used anything that's expensive but you can use your own version of whatever, I don't really care, it's just what I've got. Okay, I'm going to use this which is Natural Collection um, Eyeshadow Duo in Mink and Sable. I'm going to use the paler colour, first of all, all over my lid. Because it's quite pale, I'm just going to kind of blend and dust it up. Okay. I'm going to use my pencil brush just to put in my crease with this darker colour. I don't want a big contrast, just a little. Because it seems quite plain the makeup that um, Christina Aguilera wears Ruda? Christina Aguilera wears on her eyes it's just kind of like classic um, retro black eyeliner, eyeliner, red lips kind of deal okay just gonna blend a little bit okay 
So, I'm going to go straight for the eyeliner. You can use whatever black eyeliner you want. I've been trying to get to grips with this one so that I can review lots of different ones for you. But this one is L'Oreal Liner Intense. I'm not sure if we can get these in the UK because I got it in a swap, but if someone can advise me, that would be fantastic. It does get really, you get a lot of liquid everywhere. The brush is tiny, but it's like completely flexible, which I'm not used to. I like to have a little bit of a firm brush, so we'll see how this goes. Really difficult to do this um, eyeliner when I'm not looking down into a mirror, so this one's kind of messed up a little bit. But otherwise, it's not so bad. Okay, I'm going to use this, which is Gosh um, 2 in 1. Thing. I'm actually going to use both ends now. See if it actually does make a difference. In the pictures that I have, um, Christina doesn't have like massive, massive, crazy, like voluminous lashes. So I'm not going for false lashes or anything like I maybe would have done. Um, I'm just going for normal mascara. I'm actually going to put this mascara in a giveaway. Not this one, obviously, but a new one. Um, I'm going to do a Christmas giveaway. Uh, next month sometime. I might do it a month long in November and then you get it in December. Um, so if anyone has got any requests for what to put in that giveaway please let me know. I've got a couple of things so far like my favourite products because obviously I use this on YouTube all the time. I use, there's another gosh product in the a lip gloss that I really like. It's like 302 or something. Um, some little mini hair straighteners. Lots of little bits so far. I'm just collecting them. So yeah, if anyone's got any requests for what you'd like me to put in that giveaway, let me know, because I'm collecting things all the time. Okay, so that's the eyes. I'm going to put a little bit of blush on. A little bit. I'm going to use... No, I'm not. I'm going to use this, which is Gosh Blush in Natural, because it doesn't seem to be... She's obviously really tanned, and I'm not going for that look, because I'm just not. I'm going to use, like, a variation, because she's also blonde, and I'm not blonde anymore. Um, yeah, I'm going to use some Natural Blush. Kind of give me a little bit of a flush without being crazy because it doesn't seem to be, it's not really all about blush. It's got a little bit of pink to the apples depending on what makeup she's wearing because there's a couple of different pictures that I have, but generally she's just quite like classic and you don't want to go crazy on the blush and everything and take away from the eyes and the lips because it's just a little bit excessive. Okay, um, I'm going to go for the lips. I am going to use Toxic Tail from MAC, which was the Venomous Villains collection because I don't want to use a full and red. And this is the closest thing I've got. I know that people will kick off because I've used MAC, but whatever. I don't use it all the time, so it's the colour that I have. Mm, I do like Gossip, Pink Gossip from Rimmel, but it's a bit pink. So depending on your colour, and you might want to go for that because I really do like that colour, but any kind of bright will do. A red, whatever. This is such a simple look to do. You would just need, it's like, the request was sailor, but I asked if this is what she meant and she said yeah. Um, so you could just wear like a high-waisted skirt, some kind of like blouse on top, and yeah, back in the kind of 40s, 50s era. Um, when the curls just came out, this is what it looked like. Uh, before you've asked any questions about the hair, please check out my um, other two videos, or other one video, whatever, there's two different ones, um, where I did pin curls because it was a lot more in depth and I took you kind of step by step. <coughs> uh, so yeah, please check those out and if you have any questions then, don't hesitate to ask.